Hello, I'm Sandy Dallenbert, and I'd like to talk today about the Florida Constitution, and more specifically, about the rather remarkable process we've got going on in Florida today to consider amendments to our Florida Constitution. Let me start off by saying that most of the audience has probably learned about the Federal Constitution and understands how important that is to our, all of our existence. But the, the state constitutions are different from the Federal Constitution. The state constitutions do not have to enumerate all the powers of government. State government gets all the powers that are not denied it by the federal constitution or by the state constitution. So what becomes important in Florida and in other states is what rights do you get uh, from your state constitution? And in Florida, uh, we have some unique provisions, provisions that are in no other constitution. We have provisions relating to open government, uh, the so-called Sunshine Amendment, which requires financial disclosure, is in the Florida Constitution. In no other Constitution, uh, we have uh, protections for public records and open meetings, again, in the Florida Constitution and in no other Constitution. So we have a unique Constitution, one that's very important to Floridians. And one of the ways that this Constitution is unique is it has more ways to amend the Constitution than any other state. And I would like to just mention the five different ways you can amend the Constitution and then concentrate on one of them. Uh, first of all, originally, in our original Constitution, we had uh, a method called the Convention Method. That's the way we got our first Constitution. Uh, and then the, the state legislature was given authority to propose constitutional amendments. And so those are the first two methods. Uh, Florida rocked along for a number of years. Uh, went into the Civil War, went into a period of Reconstruction. After Reconstruction, we adopted a new Constitution, the Constitution of 1885. Uh, and then from a period from 1885 to 1968, we toyed with our Constitution. We added a bunch of provisions to it. But by 1968, that Constitution was a mess, absolute mess. And so the legislature then developed a process through which uh, we would uh, have a review of the Constitution uh, and to make proposals uh, through a commission to the legislature. And in 1968, we had two additional methods for Constitution revision. The people who had been trying to revise the Constitution all those years got so frustrated, they thought, gosh, let's come up with two other methods. They brought in the initiative method and the Constitution Revision Commission. And then later, uh, the legislature added, uh, through a Constitution Amendment, a fifth method. So we have five ways to amend the Florida Constitution. One of them is what I want to talk about today, and it's the Constitution Revision Commission process. Uh, again, I've said there are some unique things about the Florida Constitution, and this Revision Commission process is one of those unique things. And it is really quite extraordinary when you think about it. First of all, all of its members are appointed. They're appointed by elected officials. Uh, uh, they get to make their own rules. Uh, and they meet every 20 years automatically. They, they meet 20 years to consider anything in the Constitution for possible amendment. Um, and those uh, proposals that come out of that commission go directly to the people. Other states have institutions that begin to look like this a little bit until you get to that last point, that is, the ability to put uh, a measure directly on the ballot. And so that's the Florida Constitution Revision Commission process. Uh, it is extremely important, and uh, we're embarked on such a process uh, today. We've had previous Constitution Revision Commissions after the 68 Constitution, there was one that took place 10 years afterwards. I chaired that commission, and I can say that I'm an expert in Constitution revision process because everything we proposed failed. So uh, I have a background of telling you uh, how things don't work sometimes. Uh, the, the second uh, Constitution Revision Commission met 20 years after that, so in 1997-98, we had a revision commission that met and had great success. 
All but one of its proposals were adopted and very significant changes to our Florida Constitution came out of that process. Uh, and now, in 2017, we're starting the process again. So what we have now is a uh, Constitution Revision Commission appointed by uh, four appointing authorities, and here they are. Here are the people, and here are the process. Uh, first of all, uh, we have the governor makes 15 appointments, the Speaker of the House makes nine, President of the Senate makes nine, uh, the Chief Justice makes three, and the Attorney General of Florida serves as an automatic member. So we have a 37-member commission. The chair is appointed by the governor, and uh, they will have the opportunity to make proposals to the Florida electorate uh, in the general election in 2018. Now, that process has begun. Uh, we, we now know who's serving on the commission, uh, and they're now embarked in on uh, public hearings, uh, listening to the public, taking suggestions for amendment to the Constitution. Uh, virtually all of us will have some ideas about what kinds of things we'd like to see go into our Constitution, uh, protections for the environment or individual uh, rights of various kinds. Uh, and here's an opportunity to put those ideas in front of a commission that actually has the authority to take uh, your ideas, turn them into constitutional amendments, and put them on the ballot proposal. Now, if you have an interest in this subject, uh, there are a couple of websites that I highly recommend. One, the commission itself has a, a website. And then secondly, uh, there, there is a site developed by a coalition that includes uh, people from University of Florida, Florida State University, and other institutions that have been studying the Constitution revision process, and they can answer, help answer questions about the process. And then finally, I have to say, in a way of self-promotion, there's a pretty good book uh, on the Florida Constitution that I authored and has been published by Oxford University this last January. So I hope you'll be able to, to work with the Constitution Revision Commission, take your ideas to that commission, and that you'll enjoy uh, watching that process. Thank you so much.